Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm gonna make a Greek salad. I'm just pulling everything out of my fridge. I told you I keep a container like this in my fridge with vegetables and all types of goodies. So I can just pull this right out of the fridge and everything's in there. Well, not everything, but I try to get, keep a lot in there. I keep my onions on the counter, stuff like that. So, and I got my tomatoes. And also we're gonna need extra virgin olive oil, red wine vinegar, um, stuffed gar um, garlic, garlic stuffed olives, but you can just use any olives. I did wanna use Kalamata, but they didn't come in my order this week. And then I got my pepperoncinis, some salt and pepper, a little oregano, and some lemon. And then what we're gonna do is just chop everything up, put it in our salad, and it takes about five minutes. Simple and easy. All right, guys, let me tell you about this bowl. I got this on Amazon. If you're interested in any of these, these are all in my Amazon shop. And you just click the link in the description or in my about section and go over to my Amazon shop. Follow me, click the follow button and follow me and you can see the things I purchased. So this bowl is beautiful, you guys. I ordered this to use for, you know, making dough or a nice salad or a serving platter. It's so versatile, you could use it for anything. Potato chips, I mean. <laughs> and I these bowls I just ordered too, which I love. And it comes in a set of six. The yellow one's not here in the turquoise one. But they're from Swee. Swee, like cheese. But I got them on Amazon too. And when I ordered them, they gave me a coupon to get a free dish from them. It's like a soup bowl. And that was free. It's a $10 purchase and free. And this is my canister set. Or not my canister, my tool set I was telling you guys about. Since I just got all those Calflon pans. I got to have a wooden spatula. I got plenty of wooden spoons and I needed a smaller ladle because mine is huge and I think this one's kind of cuter. But, so yeah, I just love these and it comes in this nice little thing or you could just mix them with your other ones. But I keep these separate because they're special. <laughs> but anyway, I needed some um, things to use in my new Calflon pans. So if you guys want to give any of these a try, or see the other things that I purchased from Amazon or recommend, go over there, check it out. I got a lot of good things and I'm not pushing sales or anything like that. I get a small commission for being an affiliate, but I just, you know, I know sometimes people are like, oh, I wonder where she got that from. I'm like that too when I watch people's YouTube. So this way it's easy. They're all right in one spot. Or if I didn't get it off Amazon, you can ask me, you know, where I got it from if you want. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, and before we start, I'm going to show you guys this trick. that It's been going around the internet for years, but it really does work. You take two two things about the same size. Put your tomato. Now, let's get you in focus. Put them on there. Put something that's the same size right on top. And then I'm going to take a knife, slice it down, and they're all sliced at the same time. Okay, so just take the knife and slice it through and hold your other hand on top while you're doing it. Okay, let's look. See that? All of them sliced. Simple and easy. I know I didn't really show you, but you get the concept and it does really work. You can use it for olives or any different things you want. Okay, so off camera, I just cut up all my vegetables, thinly sliced the onion, thinly sliced the cucumber, the carrots, I did some green peppers and the colorful peppers there. And I squeezed my orange juice or lemon juice, you know, I always get twisted into my new bowl that I just got for free. And you can get one too. And then I keep all my um, lemon scraps in a jar in water in the fridge. And that way I keep it in the fridge because if you leave it out, they'll, they'll mold. But if you keep it in the fridge with some water, and then put, add a half water, half vinegar, and you can use that for cleaning solution. Just an idea, especially if you use a lot of lemons. And then you can use it for almost anything. <laughs> and then I put everything back in my little thing. And I'm going to put that back in the fridge so it'll all be set for next time. And off camera, I just put the tomatoes in here. My pepperoncinis and my, um, on, my olives with stuffed with... Um, garlic and if you have just like marinated garlic you know in the jar 
throw those in there too. And I, like I said, I don't have my black owls, but if you do, you can throw those in now too. Oh, and some of the juices and um, from both the olives and the pepperoncinis. And also I like to salt and pepper um, my cucumbers and tomatoes. Okay, yeah, I just salt them right away, not pepper, just salt. And that starts bringing out the juices and it gets the juices flowing of the tomatoes and the cucumbers, especially the fresh tomatoes. Um, but yeah, I always do that with all my salads and that helps get, get, um, when you start marinating and they taste so good. Okay. I got the beautiful bowl up here. Let's put in all the rest of our ingredients. Look at that. Look at these beautiful colors in my beautiful new bowl. We'll put the carrots over there. So they all look so pretty together which I am a veggie lover. I just love stuff like this. I take pictures of my vegetables, pictures of fruits that I don't even post online half the time, but I just have so fun, so much fun taking pictures of them. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay, when you put oregano in, give it a little rub between your fingers. I'm all out of my dried that I did in my garden. Then we're gonna put our lemon juice. a couple tablespoons some red wine vinegar and i love vinegar so i go a little heavy on vinegar but you put as much as you like i might add to it, i might add some more and then just very very little olive oil i have some organic olive oil that i like pretty well you got to really be careful when choosing olive oils because sometimes it's not all olive oil. It could be mixed with all kinds of things. So read your ingredients in the back. Let's get some nice black pepper. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit more salt. We added a little, but let's put some more. And let's give this a mix. All right, let's give this a mix. Now, here's a time where you could put some feta cheese in here now if you want. And you can put this right in the fridge. Keep it in there for a couple of days. It'll be just fine. And if your cucumbers start to go bad, they're fine. You, they might look funny, but they'll still taste good. Same with the tomatoes. They, they might start to look a little funny, but they still taste good for a couple of days. And if you don't put them in at all, this will last actually like a week in your fridge. Um, let me give it a taste. Let's see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's perfect. Mm. So good. Now, you can serve this just like this as a side dish. Or what I'm going to do is put it on a bed of lettuce and that's my salad. And it's almost lunchtime. Okay, you guys. Let's go in and give this a beautiful look. I got so excited about tasting it. I forgot to take you in just to show you just how good that looks. And don't forget, that's oregano and pepper. That's not all pepper, you see even though I do like a lot of pepper. And there is a lot of juice at the bottom that you can actually just pour right over your salad or it's gonna get in the salad when you put a couple spoonfuls on, on your lettuce. And we always drunk, drink, drunk or drink, 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 drink the, the dressing after the salads at my mom's house. My mom made that salad dressing so good. We used to drink the juice I don't know about anybody else. Dip your bread in it and drink up all that juice. And sometimes you wish you had more. <laughs> and uh, my father loved that too. I got it from him, of course. And uh, let's serve this up. Do you see how absolutely beautiful this looks? Oh my gosh. You guys, you can just let this sit for a little while and let it all marinate together. And um, I'm just going to put mine on some lettuce that I just had in the fridge. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's get some other goodies in there. I'm getting too many hot peppers. <laughs> Let's get some colorful stuff. There we go. Look at that. Now, oh my God, you guys. I can't wait to have this for lunch. Now I got a little piece of bread that I just pulled out of the end of the Italian bread. Put that in there. Sop that up and see just how good this is gonna taste oh my god mm, 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 mm. 
Yes. Mm, yes. And then take some of this juice here and just drizzle that over the top too to get your salad um, dressed. Your lettuce. I keep saying salad. Lettuce. And there you have it, guys. I hope you give this a try. Please like the video if you like this video. Subscribe if you like the video. And also go check out my Amazon affiliate page. I do get a small, small percentage if you guys go over there and purchase something. But if it's something you like and you want to purchase it anyway, this will help give you some ideas. This bowl is beautiful. I love this bowl. It reminds me of my mother's Italian um, pasta bowl that she had. I don't know. We must have lost it in the fire. There was three of them. I kept one. I gave one to my one sister, one to my other sister. And the one that I kept, I love, but I also wanted the one that was shaped similar to this one. So I looked them up and they're so expensive, but I found this one on Amazon. It's not Italian, but it's beautiful. And also give these bowls a chance too. They're beautiful as well. Get a nice slice of Italian bread. Gotta be nice and fresh. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you're already subscribed, check back and make sure you're new. Click that little bell if you'd like to see every time I upload. And I've been uploading more lately. And uh, this salad is amazing. You'll be the hit at the party. And it was simple. I chopped up um, a little bit of vegetables. And plus, like I said, keep your stuff in those containers. They're all washed, all ready to go. And that way, it's easy to throw together for lunch, for dinner, or even a party. And, uh, yeah, so look at that, guys. Look at just how beautiful that is. I'm so glad you guys watched my channel, my video. I'm so happy. Um, I like to bring joy to people. And my way of always spreading joy, I would say, is my food. Um, I've been cooking for a long time, cooking with my mom. And then when I started my own family... And, you know, that's how I show my love. I cook. I give people food. Come on, come and eat. Look what I got, you know. Or just hoping that they love it and that makes them satisfied. And, uh, yeah, my, my sons have a little saying. The reason I made my name What's Mama Cooking for Us is because I was looking for What's Mama Cooking. But I think it was either taken or just wouldn't let me have it. So, um, I, it gave me an option of changing it. So I said, well, cooking for us. Cause I didn't know who, who, my, who was mama cooking for. But of course I'm cooking for my sons usually. So, um, um, I, they, my sons are always saying, uh, what's mama cooking? What's mama cooking? Or I miss your cooking or something like that. And, uh, so, the, you know, one son would come in and say, what's mom cooking or what mom cook? So I thought, well, what's mama cooking for us would be a perfect name. So that's how I got my name and how I started up my channel. I was going to do a little video on that one day, but, you know, someday in the future. But um, I, you know, I have all my mom's recipes and she wrote recipes kind of like how I did where they're not complete and they're just written out kind of just the ingredients, not, not the steps or something like that. <laughs> and uh, mine are kind of the same way. But I did try to start, you know, doing better with a, a recipe box and I got a binder and stuff like that. And, um, but I, I hate to write. So, but you know, then I got a computer and I started taping them up and, um, but I hate to write out recipes. So I was going to do it, work on a cookbook, but I'm like a cookbook, me, but a couple of my friends on Facebook, like Chris, he said, when's that cookbook coming out? <laughs> and so, um. Look at me, I'm rambling. <laughs> anyway, so I thought, wow, could I really do a cookbook? But, you know, I'm like, my recipes aren't that great for a cookbook. But, hold on. Anyway, I don't know. I didn't think I was good enough for YouTube. But, you know, I feel like I'm doing all right. And uh <laughs> wish I was doing a lot better. I just need more subscribers. I do get a lot of views. And um, I do make money off my channel. And uh, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, how I started my YouTube video. Um, I didn't want to write them down, so I thought, oh, I could take, I, I just bought a brand new camera, and it was in around 2009 when my granddaughter was born, 2008 when my granddaughter was born, and I just started taking pictures of everything, because I loved that camera, it was the best camera, and so then I started realizing, hey, you can take videos on here, so I started taking videos on there, 
And the next thing you know, I started making a video. I said, let me make a cake video. So I said, let me try it. And I was doing this and doing that. And it came out horrible. But I said, well, I'll try it again. You, you know, you never know. So I tried it again a couple months later. And I, I did my first video and I uploaded it to YouTube. Well, actually, I uploaded it to Facebook so my son could see it because he lives out of state. And that's what I was really doing it for. I have four sons, so I wanted them to pass down the recipes from generation. It's not authentic Italian. It's a Italian American. And uh, so um, I, I would take the video and send it to my son and say, oh, look what you're missing, uh -huh, you know, or showing pictures. Uh -huh. So anyway, then I finally put them on YouTube and I didn't know anything about monetizing videos. I was just putting them on there to save for us. And then I started realizing you could monetize your videos once you hit the certain standard, which that's all changed now because I did it years ago. And um, I met the, sta the standards you have to get to, and then you can start making money. So then I started getting my first check, and I was shocked. And then, I mean, not that shocked, but, you know, I'm oh, my God, you can make money on here. So then um, later on, um, YouTube changed their rules, and I stopped mo making money for a while, which was fine because, you know, I was just doing it anyway. And now I'm back to normal, but they're still taking our subscribers for some reason. They think either they're not watching or they've passed away or for whatever reason. So make sure you're subscribed. Share my videos too, guys. But anyway, so that's the start of how What's Mama Cooking started. And yeah, it's nothing um, that exciting. Just my little story. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be doing some cabbage and sausage. And I forget what the other one is, but you'll see when it comes up. All right, guys, be blessed. Stay safe out there and keep warm.